I really do love finding my childhood toys because it makes me so happy. And it also helps me distinguish what things truly spark joy and what things do not. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter another section of this hoarded basement. And we've been making some amazing progress this summer. And we're going to continue to dig out as we go in to fall. And in my heart, I feel good about tackling this area. It feels right, it feels good. I believe that I can do it. Now, when I see an overwhelming amount of stuff and I don't know where to start, I always think, what is the easiest thing I can declutter first to get that momentum started? And I feel really good letting go of this box. This was probably from Christmas a couple years ago, but I, I don't feel the need to hoard it anymore. I feel good that I can let this go. This is an easy tossy tossy to get started. And the little box underneath of this, I feel good too. It's empty, it's a little shipping box, and I thought that I could reuse these little shipping boxes when I sold stuff on eBay or Etsy or all these different like selling outlets. And I never did. I never really had the time, but I just hoarded it away because it brought me comfort in thinking that, oh, I don't have to buy anything. I don't have to throw this away. I already have things to use to mail out these items to the people. And that I'm saving the environment because I'm reusing the box that was sent to me instead of throwing it out. Same with the tissue paper, same with mostly everything in this box. The mentality was that I can use it and not throw it away. But the truth is that we have recycling. I have a very good recycling system in our town. We can go ahead and throw it into the recyclable bin without feeling such guilt. And underneath of that is this blue bag, which I quickly realized was Hubby's Transformers from when he was a little boy. These were his favorite toys. I know how much he loves these Transformers and I don't have to give it to him to make a decision whether to keep it or not. I know that he is going to want to keep these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bin that we already have down here and make sure that I store them properly for him. That way, when I'm putting all of his stuff together, at least his things will be in bins and protected. And these wires right here, I'm actually finally feeling confident that I don't need to hold on to it anymore. I really don't think we need them. And same, well, this is really pretty. I really do like how shimmery this is. But if you look at the rest of the box, it's I really don't need this, right? I really feel confident in knowing that I can let this go and it's okay. And in this bag, I mean, we can totally get rid of this like make offer sign that I probably made in a yard sale years ago. But these little drawings are of Kaylin, Jacob, and I know Brandon's gonna be in here too because I used to watch them when they were like one, two, and three. And this is still tugging on my heartstrings. I'm still not ready to let it go. And you know what? That's okay if that's what I need to keep going forward. And I noticed these adorable pink baby shoes that I used to have such a stronghold to that now emotionally, I feel okay letting go. I can give this away and bless another mama. I'm making these decisions emotionally so that I don't feel any regret when I let them go. And I'm really focusing on this box because it's the first time that I really realized the transition of I am looking at a box ready to throw away most of the stuff in it. I'm not keeping it for a reason of it's sentimental, I have a story attached to it, I can use it for something else, even this Dalmatian thing. I, I'm not finding a thousand reasons to holding on to everything. I'm actually looking at everything in a box, being able to logically let it go 
And that is such a monumental healing in my hoarding disorder that I can finally realize we can let this go. And underneath the box is a bin full of paper. And this is going to be very, very old. As you can see, this receipt, if you can see, it says 2009. Because I used to have a coffee table in the living room with the baskets that could hide away thousands of paper and little things, like these little coasters, which I am going to let go of. And of course, paper is the bane of my existence because it takes so much energy out of me. I have to go through each and every piece of paper, make sure I'm not throwing away anything that has private information, making sure I'm shredding things that might have our social security, making sure that I'm ready to let it go because yes, even paper ignites memories and I have a hard time letting go of. So that's why it's a struggle because it will drain a lot of my energy fast. But I know now is the time to definitely let most of this go because as you can see, a lot of this stuff is from 2008 and 2009 and when I was a new mommy and I loved that season of being a new mommy. So I do feel the need to just hold on to maybe five of these pieces of paper like the Toys R Us like first birthday planner and it actually has where Brandon chewed on it as a baby but that's how we're going to grow and move forward. I'm okay with keeping only five of these little pieces and the rest of it can go. Now these pieces over here they are very old but I'm actually not feeling attached to them at all so we're gonna go ahead and let them go. Now this three-tier drawer is hubby's right there is some pretty cool stuff in here but this is all of hubby's items from when he was young so i'm going to let him make the decision i am not going to make decisions on any of his things so we'll put it on the side and let him go through it and over to the side it's so relieving to see that these are easy tossy tossies the plastic bags i hoarded forever because i wanted to make these sleeping mats for the homeless but I never made them so we can recycle them and I'm in a position to donate to the homeless, which is probably way better. And again, it's just feeling good to be able to see that I can abundantly let this all go and not be stuck in this lack mentality where I feel I gotta hold on to it. Like this heart mirror, I loved it so much. It fell, it broke, I tried rescuing it many times and I thought later I can do a better job at saving all of this old stuff but it no I can't keep this I'm not living in a lack mentality we can let all of it go and another bag of packing peanuts which you know what I think I am going to give this away because I see people posting looking for moving supplies because they're moving so I think I'll give it to them now over here, I kept this for a very long time. The Cub Scouts did something with Angels of God Closet, which really gives back to our community. And I'm okay showing these pictures because it is on their website. Now, I'm gonna let this go. I held on to it because it was a reminder of me and Brandon and the Cub Scouts giving back to help out Angels of God Closet and their charities but it's okay, I can let it go and still donate and be a part of their wonderful cause. And since I've been decluttering for a few years now, and since I have strengthened my decluttering muscles, and since I have realized that I'm okay when I let these things go, I'm still doing all right. One day, you're gonna look with new eyes and realize you don't need to hold on to this. It's going to be okay if you recycle it. You don't feel the need to hold on to things like this. This is from my dance from like high school and early 20s. And I can detach my heart from it. Do I still love to dance? Yes, but I, I don't need to hold on to all my recital things. It's okay to let it go. I'll still function another day and not worry about triggering my anxiety because I've decluttered so many things over time that I've learned to maintain my anxiety and my mental health 
through other healthy ways like journaling, like exercising, that I don't have to fear these huge panic attacks to let go of one thing, like the coffee cans. Here's a perfect example. I hoarded the coffee cans because I wanted to create this beautiful project. I thought of a million projects that I could make with the coffee cans, but it's okay to let them go now. I'm not losing the dream of crafting something new out of it. I can always ask a friend or a neighbor, hey, if you're throwing away your coffee can, can you save one for me? I have a craft idea from it. And she will lovingly give it to me. I know this. So it is okay. We're not in that scarcity mindset anymore. And I can tell I decluttered about 99% of what was in this space. Now, let me show you this box right here because it just came into the basement. My mom and dad are decluttering their garage and they found a box of my old Barbies. Oops, she's naked. Let's cover her now. My old Barbies and ponies. Oh, heartstrings. This I still have a very strong sentimental attachment to. Any childhood thing is a part of my sentimental foundation, meaning that I know I already have some very key pieces that I'm attached to so that now it is okay to start to let go of these other things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab one of my light pink polka dot bins because this is what I designated to childhood items of mine. And we're going to begin to put all of it away. We're gonna store it into this bin. That way that I know that it's safe and sound and I don't have to worry about triggering a panic attack for it. And now that I know where my sentimental items are stored and not lost in the abyss of crap, <laughs> it's easier for me to be like, here are the things that spark joy, safely tucked away, and all of these other things, they don't spark as much joy, we can let them go. It is okay. It is okay to let it go. And this is one massive tossy tossy pile in one decluttering session. And I always go over it because it is a reminder to my heart to be like, see, you are strong enough to let go of this much stuff and not trigger a panic attack and not feel this huge sense of loss where you can't function. No, it's quite the opposite. You did it. You were able to let it go and it feels good. And know that I am recycling it. It's going in a recycle bin. I don't have to worry about trashing the earth anymore. It is okay. I am free to let this go. I am now free to open up the spaces, to sweep and clean what was underneath of all of that stuff. I am allowing myself to enjoy this moment. And I pray that this encourages you to declutter and clean something today. You absolutely can do this, whether it's letting go of one thing or you're letting go of a hundred things. Remember the jolts? just one little thing and they add up to become bigger spaces. You can do it. We're all here to cheer you on.